Hello everybody, it has been a while. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well despite literally everything going wrong in the world. So you guys seem to really like my five things that I wish I knew before getting a communications degree video. So I thought I would kind of do another video that's sort of in the same vein as that one. Everyone knows that paying for college in the US is a nightmare. Most people honestly these days end up with crazy student loans. But even if your parents can pay for your college without having to take out loans, you still might feel kind of indebted to them for the the rest of your life. You might start to feel like your life choices aren't really yours to make. You might feel sort of guilty if you're not using your degree or if you realize right after graduating like, oh, I kind of made the wrong decision, oopsie. <laughs> like, I don't really want to do what I just paid $100,000 to do, but it's too late once you graduate from college. For me personally, after I graduated from college and I started kind of like realizing that there are all sorts of ways to make money in life without necessarily going to a four-year college, I was kind of like, dang. Now I am not saying that you shouldn't go to college, especially if you know what you want to do in life and like you need a college degree for it like if you want to be a doctor a lawyer like a teacher or anything like that like yeah go to college for sure but if you're not super passionate or excited about studying at college and you kind of like don't really know what you want to do and you're kind of just going to see what happens because you don't really know what else to do when you're 18 years old and everyone's telling you to go. That's probably not the best reason to go deep into student loan debt. Perhaps give it a second thought. Anyways, I put together this list of eight alternative routes you can take if you're not quite sure if you want to go to college yet, maybe you're right out of high school, maybe the thought of going to college right now during COVID times is seeming a little sketchy to you and you kind of don't know if you want to maybe put it off for a year, this video is for you. Here are eight alternative routes you can take besides going to college where you'll potentially be able to make a really good living. Number one, a certified health coach program. This is a really great option for you if you're really interested in food and nutrition and just well-being and you want to help people in your career, but you don't know if you want to commit to getting a bachelor's degree or even a master's degree, which is sometimes required to work as a nutritionist or a registered dietitian, this is a really great alternative for you. When you're a health coach, it's really more about providing guidance and emotional support for your clients. And you can become certified from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition in as little as six months. I follow this girl you might've heard of um, on social media named Chelsea Jade Curtis. She has a podcast with JC Marie Smith called What We Said. But before she became an influencer, and I think still currently, she had slash has a health coaching business where she made her living. She was probably pulling in a steady income of anywhere from $35 to $50,000 doing that um, based on the glass door averages in Arizona where she lived until she moved to California recently. Very successful health coaches who are farther along in their career can make upwards of $75,000 a year um, it's really up to you and how you run your business and if you want to like start your own coaching business Be more of an entrepreneur number two is becoming a personal trainer I'm pretty sure we all know what a personal trainer does But it's someone who either works at a gym or goes to people's houses privately to give individualized or small group workout training sessions. In order to become a certified personal trainer, you need to take a few classes and get certified from an accredited program like the NCAA, Accredited American Council on Exercise. This program is self-paced, but people typically complete it in about three to four months. 
The average salary for a personal trainer in the US is around $61,000 a year, but top personal trainers and like celebrity personal trainers can make upwards of $80,000 a year easily. Number three is to become a hairstylist. So these days, especially with the popularity of social media, really good hairstylists can almost become sort of celebrities on Instagram, especially. For example, there's this extension and like blonding specialist named Chrissy. Rasmussen and she's on Instagram at Hair by Chrissy. She's the owner of Habit Salon and they've got like hundreds of thousands of followers. They can charge a bunch of money at Habit Salon because their work is so famous on Instagram. If you are an amazing hairstylist and you post consistently on social media and you accrue tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers on social media, you can charge a lot of money for a good haircut or extensions or something like that. If you are just kind of playing by the book, you can expect to make around $30,000 a year as like your typical hairstylist. But again, if you market yourself amazingly and you are like super talented at your job, you can make way more than that. Again, as with most of these, it's really up to you how you are able to market yourself. Number four is doing a coding boot camp. These days, people who can code are so in demand that you don't even really need a degree in coding or whatever, computer science. I mean, computer science degree is like very good and in demand, but if you don't wanna do that, there are all sorts of coding boot camps online like through. General Assembly, Northwestern University, Full Stack Academy, and more. These programs can usually be completed in a few months. And on average, entry-level web developers in the US make over 60K a year for an entry-level position. And you can make way more than that once you start to move up in your career. Number five is to become a social media influencer, if you will. Perhaps if you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, start it now because it's gonna take you a minute to get monetized and if you're really creative and fun and you've got a great personality, you can make a ton of money if you become like a really successful YouTuber. According to several YouTubers, several ideas for fast growing channels in 2020 are meditation and yoga channels, YouTube advice channels, like advice for growing your YouTube channel, are popular on YouTube. Planning slash journaling channels, effective study tips channels, fitness channels, plant-based eating channels, and more. I'm sure you've seen lots of examples of these on your explore page. If you feel like you have some really good info or tips to offer on these topics, start a YouTube channel today. The thing about being an influencer or having a YouTube channel is it's really hard to give a blanket statement for how much you can expect to make because it really depends on your consistency, how often you upload, how long you are gonna keep doing this for because like I said, it can take years for you to become monetized. It depends what kind of videos you make and the types of ads that you will be able to get. So it just depends on a lot of factors. But these days it's feasible if you have over 200,000 subscribers to make about 2000 to $4,000 a month. So like great living. It's just gonna take some time to get there probably, unless you're Kelly Stamps. Number six is learn how to install solar panels. The number one fastest growing occupation right now is solar panel installers. If you want to do something to help the earth, but college isn't your thing, this could be a great career option for you. Most workers are required to have a high school diploma at least, as well as a year of training in order to secure their first full-time job. And some states, but not all, require a special solar contractor license, which can take about 18 to 24 hours of coursework, so it's not that much. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, median pay for solar photo photovoltaic panel installers was $42,680 per year in 2018. Number seven is becoming an aviation technician. This is something I had never thought about or heard of before I graduated from college, but um, recently I've been hearing of a lot of people making a bunch of money working as a mechanic on airplanes. In order to become an aircraft mechanic, you'll need 18 to 30 months of work experience 
followed by practical and written exams to become certified by the Federal Aviation Administration or the FAA. But starting salaries for aircraft mechanics are around $50,000, which is pretty average in the US. But with experience, you can make up to 100,000 and up if you are an experienced aircraft mechanic. Number eight is getting your real estate license. In most states, all you need to become a real estate agent is to be 18 years or older, complete your pre-license education, and take your state's real estate license examination. I have written down here in Illinois, for example, you must complete 90 hours of coursework before taking the exam. After that, you'll need to get clients in order to start making money, obviously. But once you get your name out there and start building up a good pool of clients and a reputation, you can make anywhere from 40,000 a year to over $100,000 a year. Like a lot of these other professions, it's really a lot up to you and how you market yourself and the sort of clients you can secure. Another factor for real estate is where you're selling. So if you are selling multi-million dollar homes in Beverly Hills, you are obviously gonna make more money than the average real estate agent. Anyways, if you are hesitant about going to college, you're not really sure if it's for you, you're not really sure if you want to start going to college right away, these are some options you can consider in the meantime. Maybe you won't end up needing to go to a four-year college, you'll save a bunch of money. Um, and a lot of these professions can be really creative and fun and entrepreneurial. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this kind of related to to careers and college and that kind of thing, let me know in the comments below and I will hopefully see you guys soon. Bye.